Hello. <clears throat> We're just going to wait a little bit for people to get here, in here. How are you today, whoever just came in? Hi, darling. Kind of getting everything adjusted here. So how's everybody tonight? <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Andy. I think I'd rather be in down under a little cooler weather. We'll give this a handful of minutes here, let some people get in here. So you packing colors again today, Andy? Oh, that's right. It's Saturday. I guess you deserve a day off. I can give it about one more minute here, and then we'll get the video rolling. So basically what's happened is I've had a lot of people asking me about costs cost of creating the bath bombs, how do we know how much it costs to make them. So we have an Excel spreadsheet that we utilize. I'm going to move my video here. Eh. Not really nothing wrong with that as long as you had fun. Okay. Produce my video here to the corner. So what we have is we have an Excel spreadsheet. So I had three different recipes in this Excel spreadsheet, thanks to Meta for giving me a couple to help with this. So basically what we do is we take our ingredients and we list out our ingredients. So everything that we put in our bath bombs, baking soda, citric acid, kaolin clay, SLSA, Epsom salt, avocado oil, fragrance oil, and certified dyes. And then we, in the next column here, weight in ounces. Now we do in ounces, I know a lot of people do in grams, which is much better. We list out how we buy it. So baking soda, we buy four pounds at a time. So four times 16 is 64. Our citric acid is 800 ounces, it's 50 pounds. Kale and clay, 80 ounces, which is 5 pounds, and so forth. So this is how many ounces we're buying at a time. One thing that's very important in your price is you must include shipping costs or any fees. For example, we get our baking soda locally at Walmart. So for us, we do not have a shipping cost on baking soda. So... We buy it at $3.98 for four pounds. So the next column here, what we do is we break that down. For those that don't know Excel, we can do the math using formulas. Um, in this case, we're taking our price and dividing it by the number of ounces we're buying, which means we're paying six 
0.02 cents per ounce. So by breaking all these down, we know exactly how much we're paying per ounce of baking soda. Citric acid, clay, and everything. So we know our cost. Now, the formula we're using is up top, and you probably cannot see it. You can see it here. Equal sum, open paren, C3, which will be what our, our price is, and then the divided by, which is the slash, sorry about that, which is the slash B3, which is our number of ounces. And that gives us our cost. So... That allows us to break down how much we spend for every ounce. If you're going to do this in grams, you just have to convert how much you're buying into grams and then be able to divide it that way. And you're more than welcome to go to that calculation. I personally don't. Now, the next part of this, we have to have our recipe. Everything we're putting into making that product. So... When we make a batch with our recipe, we have our baking soda, and we use one pound of baking soda, 16 ounces. Our citric acid, we use eight ounces. Our kale and clay, a half ounce. Our SLSA, a half ounce. Our avocado oil, one ounce. Fragrance oil, one ounce. Our dyes, 0 0.01 ounce. And then if we shrink wrap and label. Now, we take that, however many ounces we're using, and we put it into the cost. So to do that, we again use the equal sum open paren, and we are taking that and using how much we're putting in times how much it costs. So as you can see here, I'm using equal sum B14, times D3, and that gives me my total cost of baking soda that I'm putting in this batch. So in this one batch, I'm putting 99.5 cents. And you just do that for everything. Every item, you have to break it down to a cost. Now, there are some other costs that you have to figure out. If you shrink wrap your bath bombs, you need to figure out how much your shrink wrap costs for what you're using. Same for labels. How much your label costs. Um, we don't shrink wrap or label our bath bombs personally, so I've just put a number that I felt was fair for our cost, which was two cents for shrink wrap, five cents for label. Now, as we go over, our cost per batch would be all of this added up. So again, we're using our calculations, equals sum, and then we're doing all of these columns, C14 all the way down to C22. And that gives us our total cost to make that batch. Now this batch for us makes seven bath bombs at about four ounces a piece. So now... We can take, that gives us how many per batch. Now we can take our cost per bath bomb. And all we do for that is we take our, what do I do? 13, yeah. We take our total cost for the batch and divide it by the number of bath bombs. So in Excel, it's equal sum open print F13 divided by F14. And that gives us our cost that it costs us to make one bath bomb. In this particular case, it's 76.9 cents, so basically 77 cents. Now, we personally sell our two and four ounce bath bombs for four dollars a piece. So what we did here is we also used the mathematical formula equal sum F14, which is our number of bath bombs, times four which tells us that batch will make us $28. So if we take, in this case, F16, which is how much that bath recipe will bring us, and 
subtract out the cost, which is F13 in this case, it tells us we will make $22.61 profit on these seven bath bombs. Now, this is just following our recipe. Um, every recipe is different. I've got a couple others in here. Um, there's also, like I said, you can convert to grams. You, you can do a few different things to be able to uh, make it even more accurate depending on how you are calculating stuff of that nature. Um, so for us to make one batch of bath bombs is fairly profitable. Now, this time pre-pandemic, it was only costing us about 27 cents to make this same batch. So it is a little more costly to make them, but as you can see, we're still making good profit. Here is another recipe that was provided by me, by a customer of ours, that shows her recipe, how much we buy the ingredients for, how much she puts in her recipe, and what her cost is. Her cost of ingredients and the ingredients she's using, because she's using cream of tartar, she's using arrowroot powder, almond oil, polysorbate 80. That brings her batch cost to make seven bath bombs up to 1390 where our batch cost is 538 Still making the same seven bath bombs. Her cost per bath bomb is $19, 1.987, But she sells these bath bombs for $6 a piece, which means she'll get $42 when she sells them, making a $28 profit. That is a higher profit than R22, but it is costing her more money. Um, the last formula I have is she gave me her shower steamer recipe. She makes small one ounce shower steamers. So, going by her recipe, her ingredients, in this case she uses uh, arrowroot powder, almond oil, menthol crystals, and witch hazel. So when I break her, her recipe out, which looks to be quite large, so I've got her recipe, her batch costs her $34 to make, $34.07. But it makes her 104 small one ounce shower steamers. That brings her cost per steamer to 32 cents, 33 cents, basically. But she sells them at $3 a piece. A little high, but she gets it. So at, she's making a huge profit on these shower steamers, and I think her numbers may be off on this. She may sell them in a pack for $3. I'm not sure. But even if you were selling them at a dollar a piece, when I take that into account, if she's selling a dollar a piece, too many numbers there. Back out what I did here. So, back it out to a dollar a piece. She's making 104 shower steamers, 32 cents a piece. A dollar a piece, she's making almost $70 off this batch. So, it's important to make sure you're calculating your cost to what you're making. So that way, one, you're not losing money. But also, making sure that you're charging the right amount to be profitable. Because everybody's in this business to make money. And you've got to be profitable or it does no good. Um, I'm going to upload this Excel spreadsheet so that way people can look at it and kind of and ask questions to me as needed. Um, I do recommend shopping around for things. 
if you're buying baking soda and having it shipped, look closer. Look at four pound Arm & Hammer boxes at Walmart. They're three ninety eight. If you have a Sam's Club membership, Sam's Club 13 pound bags are, I'm not sure how much they are now, but I know they're cheaper than the three ninety eight for four pounds. Um, things that you can avoid shipping is going to save you money. Picking up your baking soda local is a big one. Buying your Epsom salt local. Um, things like your avocado oil, you can get on Amazon and use Amazon Prime shipping and it won't cost you anything to have it shipped. So, try to cut your shipping costs down because that's what hurts you. For example, my citric acid was $174. But if I bring it up and show you, Got to find the order here for you. So just so you can see, that was a 50-pound bag of citric acid I ordered. I got a good price on it when I bought this. It was $109.99, but I paid $50 for shipping. So if I could find something closer or local, it wouldn't cost me that shipping cost. Um... There are lots of things you can get by buying it without shipping. I know a lot of people don't like Amazon for things, but just to show you on Amazon, uh, Right there is 50 pounds for 189. It's a few dollars more than what I paid. Um, I don't buy anything that tells me gallons. Like right here, if you $150 and $20 shipping, that's comparable to what I paid. But be careful, like that says 40 pounds. Um, but there's things on Amazon you can buy. that you can actually save on. I can type today. For example, avocado oil. Just right here, I can buy a gallon, 46 bucks, $45. It may be more expensive than what you're buying, but if you take into account the shipping, it may be cheaper. Shipping seems to be the big killer for everybody right now. Um, but it's important in your calculations that you're including your shipping cost in here. It, it won't calculate your labor because only you can determine what your labor needs to be. For some people, it may be low. For some people, it may be high, depending on your employees. Um, but other than that, I mean, calculating your cost will help you decide where you can save money. Once you start making enough product, you may not think about it much, but like right now in my formula, my cost for bath bomb is 7.769 and a bunch of numbers after it. Well, that 175.66 is what I paid for my citric acid last time. The time before that, it was 150.66. Just that difference dropped my cost three cents a bath bomb. Three cents isn't much, but if you're making a thousand bath bombs, it does start to add up. I, I see a few people in here. Is there any questions? Is there anything I can answer for you, can cover for you to help you out with understanding cost calculations and things of that nature? Um, and for those that don't know, we get our citric acid from Glycerin Supply. Um, our baking soda, 
from Walmart or Sam's Club, uh, our kale and clay. If we're ordering from somewhere, we'll order some with it. If not, we normally order it from either Amazon or Etsy, the same with SLSA, Amazon or Etsy. Epsom salt, another heavy product. It's easier and cheaper to buy it at Walmart. Avocado oil, again, $46.99 at Walmart. Uh, or, I'm sorry, at Amazon. You may be able to get it cheaper, but when you add shipping, I don't know if you will. <clears throat> Our fragrances, uh, I personally like a company called Candle Supply. Trying to find the exact name of it. Candlemaking.com. You guys know it as, as Aztec. Um, this is where I normally could buy my fragrances from. I've always had great fragrances from them. Uh, it's always been decent prices. Their shipping has not been too terrible. So, definitely can look at that. So just all depending on how good a records and what you keep will help you be able to make more money in your business. Hello to whoever's here. I don't see names of who's here. I thought they used to tell me that, but I guess they don't. you need help with this, like I said, I'm going to upload this into the files, so you're welcome to it. Definitely reach out to me if you need help setting it up for you, or some some one-on-one -on -one to understand how to get your pricing. I know there's some softwares out there that I've heard some people talk about that kind of can do it for you. I find this just easier. Hi, Christine. You're welcome, Darlene. Um, yeah, I'm hoping this helps. I, I've been doing this for years. Uh, when we first started making bath bombs, it's got to have been eight, nine years ago. It was one of the things we did was like, we got to know what we're paying for stuff. If you don't know what you're paying for it, how do you know what to sell it for? Um... I'm watching a lot of small businesses drop off daily. People are scared. They're spending a lot of money. They don't know that realize what they're making. And I worry that a lot of them are getting scared off because okay, citric acid went from I don't know what it what it was eighty dollars, seventy five dollars. I could order a fifty pound bag of citric acid shipped. I could go to my local store here. I have a farm store that can get me food grade citric acid. I could buy it for like forty-five or fifty dollars a bag. Well, yes, that the price increases have hurt. The shipping increases have hurt. But in the end, you're still making money. If you're selling your bath bombs, I, I haven't eat a, a figure that I do. I want to make one dollar per ounce that I'm selling a bath bomb. So as long as I make a dollar an ounce that means my four ounce bath bomb is four dollars. I'm making three dollars and twenty three cents profit to cover my labor. 
Now, fortunately, we don't have employees making bath bombs, so I'm not paying labor to them. But, depending on how you're making your bath bombs, you want to try to cut your labor down. Um, I know a few of you have some of our bigger equipment, our semi-auto equipment, things like that. Find ways to cut your labor down so that way more of this profit stays in your pocket. No questions, okay. Well, this file we call Bath Bomb Calculator. It will be in the file section in the Facebook group. Um, feel free to download it, look it over, modify as you need. Hit me up if you need help. Um, and post in the group things you would like me to cover or do videos on or talk to you guys about. Things to help you. Um, I know we haven't done a lot of videos lately. Been so busy in the shop. I want to get back to doing videos and doing things to help you guys out. So, And I can sit here and do stuff like this unless it's making bath bombs. I can sit here at home and do videos like this and help you guys. Well, not much more I can say on this, so... If you find this helpful or useful, um, leave a comment. Let me know if there's things you want me to cover. Leave a comment. Let me know. You guys know you can always email or message me on Facebook about things. But let me know what I can do to help you guys. Uh, we'll hang out here for two or three more minutes to see if there's anybody that has any questions and stuff like that. Yep, and what you're going to do, Darlene, just so you know, is just change your ingredients, change your weights, change your prices, change your ingredients here, and change the amount used, and then these are already linked to up here, so make sure whatever's on the first line under ingredients is on the first line under ingredients here. If you need more lines and you don't know how to add lines and modify it, let me know. Um, but I mean, I can even, I may even redo this before I upload it and move it over to the side to give you more lines so you can have it as long as you want. There you go. Good, Darlene. That's good. So you'll know how to add lines. And like I said, just look at my formulas. The formulas are in there of what I'm doing for each thing. Just modify them as you see fit. So yeah. Um, other than that, that's about all I have. Nice, quick, sweet little video. Hopefully it helps somebody out there. So that'll be all I have for tonight. You lovely people have an absolutely wonderful weekend. If you're doing shows, make lots of money. If you're in hot areas, stay nice and cool. It's hot out there. I think me and the wife might go to the Renaissance Fair tomorrow down south of Milwaukee. I don't know yet. I've got a customer down there, so we may go down and say hi to her. But other than that, have a wonderful night, folks. I'm out of here. You're welcome, darling.